Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Panzer General 2. This is what I presume to be the last scenario in the Crusader West campaign. We are near Desso, near an experimental facility, trying to get there before the Russians do. And it's an experimental facility, so what will we face here? Maybe jet fighters, maybe the mouse tank. We do have a decent amount of prestige available. I think we want to upgrade the tanks from this. M4, A3, E8, 76. To M26. Much better ground defense values. Initiative is a little bit higher. Track movement a little bit lower though. Let's get two of those. The units with the most experience are upgraded. Anti tank M36 is fine. Artillery. Not sure if this is in a half track. No. Well, let's get half tracks. On those guns. Finally, the fighters. We have a 1B and several Ds. Yeah, the H is definitely better. Upgrading it is insanely expensive though, compared to the single unit cost. So let's not upgrade that, let's spend the remaining prestige on overstrengthening the units. And let's end this war. Artillery units basically without experience, except for the M7. Yeah, we want to overstrength the Air Force. Already overstrength it. Alright. Uh, 90 prestige left. Let's go. 10 turns. April 11, 1945, near Dessau. Wow, that's a major distance. We have to cover. Probably should avoid. This area, a lot of forests, big river, maybe try to move our entire army alongside this route and split up here. Problem is most of the 
deployment areas are here. Yeah, I don't want to travel through this forest. Seems like a bad idea. So I will probably only position a bunch of marines to guard that city. And the rest of the troops, let's put them here. Scouts, we want some artillery. The new tanks. Add a few infantry units. What about the Air Force? Do we actually have an airfield? Doesn't seem like to be the case. That's worrying. <laughs> is there an actual airfield on this map? There is, but it is near the objective. Yeah, that doesn't help us at all. So this is the airfield. Wow, that's bad news. We have to fight without our air force. So priority target the airfield. It's kind of amazing. Yeah, let's not take this route. Choke point forests. We're just going to get bogged down. These regulars can stay in the city for now. And deploy the rest of the forces. Artillery. Try to clear the road. Let's 
get the mob tank. And... Oh, this is actually an anti-tank unit. Move up the artillery. Get more scouts. Wow, this actually has a range of two. Bad news for the scouting unit. And only the Air Force left. Yeah. Was a bit of a mistake. The AI repaired. Out. Right, this is an airfield. Of course. Kind of miss that. Well, we'll just work with it. See what happens. Let's scout for additional targets. Well, not a misclick. Keep doing that. Now let's check the route we want to take. Across this bridge. So scout ahead. Get the remaining bomber. Bombers. I guess we will face the jets. And they are definitely superior to 
RP51. Guns. Scout can retreat. No additional targets available, so just move east with our air force. Keep these guys in the city and in the victory hex. Cannot buy anything new. A destroyed, wow. That's nasty. Yeah, these are the jets. We do not really have a defense available. We could maybe set up an anti air gun. Near the airfield. Messerschmitt 163 has an air attack of 22. Wow, um, 262 air attack of 25, definitely superior. Let's focus on moving east. Just cannot do much about the, the Luftwaffe. I don't think these jets are very good against armor. Take this city because we can.
Yeah, there's no way we can do anything about these guys. Well, four strength, maybe we can take them on with an 11 strength P51. I don't really want to get bogged down there though, so. We'll use the fighter as a scout and keep moving with the bombers. Maybe try to get the German airport as soon as possible. Uh, split up the air force a bit. Keep the anti-air near our airfield. Is that a wise plan? No, let's move it towards the front lines. Seven turns remaining. And anti-air gun, alright. Surprised. Yeah, we're getting slaughtered. There is nothing I can do about that. Tigers. Wash East. Cannot do anything with this bomber. Uh, 
Oh, suicide. Definitely need to split up here and this objective. Oh, it's pretty close by. This is all clear. another P51 scout ahead with the fighters also have a bomber right here Landed just above a anti air gun. Awesome. Splitting up the Air Force. Uh, let's send in a M26. Sure. Both two artillery pieces south. Two tanks south. about it. Wow, we also have an objective here. Could send in these this bomber if they survive next turn. Yeah. 
Petty fighters, the jet fighters aren't much use against our targets. Don't care about the stoast trooper. Alright, let's first check further south. And another misclick. No. No range. Scout ahead. Position the artillery. Zero destroyed, zero suppressed. And again. Right fighter in the area. And I think it is bad weather. Cannot do anything with the bombers. Right. Two anti air guns. Should be ineffective too. Let's move the bombers and split them up. Airfield. Reposition the artillery. Yeah, cannot do anything about the tiger.
weather is apparently still not good. Yep, a salt. Position the bomber. Move up the artillery. Let's actually send this tank towards the northeast. Help out with Dessau. So in these, at the start of the scenario it may be wise to invest in anti-air guns. Fair weather, so we can use the bombers. Black gun though, so we need artillery here. Take this objective. We still have a fighter. Maybe not. Well, let's send in the bombers. Soften up the target.
skip the airfield. And that's it for the turn. Lost another bomber. Yeah, it's the idea is probably to get anti air guns and protect your air force with that. Out of ammo. And the final objective. So I think that is actually the way to do it. You cannot get fighters that can stand up against the jets, the German jets. So you need air defense. And probably the best thing to have is this mobile unit. It will provide some form of protection against the jets. A bit at least. You did it, Commander. We got what we came for, and you've done a fine job for us. It's time to go home. You've done your country proud. Here, have a cigar. See you stateside. Right. The end of the Allied campaign. And next up, I did find a custom campaign on the internet. You can actually create custom scenarios and custom campaigns. And I may try one of those next. If not, it's probably onwards to Berlin, the Russian campaign. I did do some checking. And this is apparently the most difficult campaign, apart from the Blitzkrieg. So I'm not sure what to do next, but decide that later for now. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.